Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. We all know that DAWs are the great democratizers. They make the means of production available for everyone. But they're also great democratizers in terms of technique. You don't have to have great chops to play fast parts. In this video, I'm going to show you my own way that I like to work with Logic and the tempo tracks to slow things down and put in fast parts slowly with piano. I like to play the left hand and the right hand separately. So check it out. I've got a walking bass line programmed up for an old jazz standard here with a little one bar introduction and it's nice and slow and this is what it sounds like. Now I'm going to record the left hand first on the piano and I have this nice and slow. I've got a tempo set and it's untitled at the moment and I'm going to rename it and I'm just going to call it slow. And now let's create a new tempo set. And we'll set this a lot faster, maybe about 175 or so, something like that. And I'll call it fast. And this is going to be my playback tempo. So let's go back to slow. And I'm going to start with the left hand first. Alright, so that sounds nice. Let's listen back at the faster tempo. Alright, I'm going to record the right hand part now. I'm going to go back to the slow tempo and I'm going to create a new track with the same instrument. And there we go. And I like using the notes only no sustain pedal. That way I don't have to worry about sustain overlapping between my left hand comping and my right hand soloing. So all the left hand parts they try and stay somewhere around middle C where the voicing is sort of in the middle of middle C, not too much lower, not too much higher. And then for soloing, I can go a bit higher than that. So let's put a solo in now. And now let's listen back fast.
you want to learn more about this style of jazz piano playing and programming, check out my series, The Jazz Piano Cheat Sheet, at Groove3.com. This is Eli Kranzberg signing out.